Pull up a chair and get comfortable. It's time to talk about your federal benefits. Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators presents the FABC Podcast with Elizabeth Inman and Brian Fentress. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Inman with Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators. I retired from the Postal Service. I worked my way up to a level 26, worked in four different states, had an ad hoc position out of headquarters for a few years, loved, loved, loved my job. I love my retirement from the Postal Service. I'm a FERS retiree and I get a pension from the same place that you guys either get a pension or hope to get a pension from one of these days. So I still bleed Postal Blue. I still talk Postal Blue. I love anything and everything that's federal. Um, very, very patriotic. I appreciate the job you guys do each and every day. Why would you want to listen to a podcast from somebody like me? Well, everything I say and do is from the perspective of that day when I sat in my, at my kitchen table with my blue book, because the postal employees use a blue book. It's white now, by the way. Filling out my paperwork for retirement as a FERS employee. I still present all of my information from sitting in that chair saying, how is this going to impact my retirement? That's why this information I'm presenting is important to you. I want to present it from your perspective. I, I, I indeed have an, a company. It's called Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators. I do lots of things through that company. You can go to my website, www.febcnow.com, and you'll see the wide range of services, whether it's a free benefits analysis, a Fegley report, a social security report, maybe it's a TSP calculator you need to play with. I do a lot of things for federal and postal employees. Um, may just be education that you need. A lot of our information and all of our information is free. I don't charge for it because I am once again a FERS retiree myself. I draw a pension from the federal government for the years of service I had as a federal employee. I love what you guys do for us each and every day. I get I still get ticked off when I hear people talk about going postal. They don't understand that going postal is when our mail carriers go through the neighborhoods six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, and they notice when Joe, that they've been on their route for the last 11 years, isn't picking up his mail, and lo and behold, they find out he's fallen and he can't get up, and they call 911 and they save, they save Joe's life. That's what going postal means to me. I still get ticked off when they talk about the lazy government employees when they haven't walked a day in our shoes. They don't know what it takes to keep our federal government moving and going. I appreciate all of our federal employees, all of our government employees, all of our military first responders, and all of our postal employees. I'm here to continue serving in that capacity even though I'm retired. So I want to bring information to you that's relevant, and I want to bring it from the perspective that I needed when I was an employee myself and that I need today as a current retiree. One of the hottest topics we have going right now are the changes that's taking place in our benefits. As future retirees, we have two fears that we face. Am I going to have enough money in retirement? Am I going to have enough income? Is that income going to last the rest of my life? Because face it, when we get ready to retire, we want to live a while. It's not unusual for us to live 20 and 30 years into retirement. Am I going to have enough money to retire? And the second fear is what if something catastrophic happens to my health? Do I have the right medical coverage to give me the right medical care that I'm going to need when I do get into my late 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe into my 90s. I'm a, I'm a member of a lot of federal retiree associations, people that have been retired for a while. I'm associated with them. I pray with them when they're going through severe health needs, health events, surgeries that could impact them for the rest of their life. 
I know what it's like when they're sitting and trying to figure out uh, deductibles and co-pays and how does that interact with my Medicare and what does a Medicare A mean versus Medicare B and what does, what's a Medicare Advantage plan? Those are all questions we all have. Those are things you need to be educated about. So we've started these podcasts on this new postal reform. Uh, I'm sorry they just called it postal reform because it's going to reform everything when it comes to the health benefits of federal employees, postal employees. Yeah, I understand it's the legislature that they're marking as saving the postal service. If it saved the postal service, that's wonderful. That's my organization. That's my agency. I, I certainly want it to be around for a long, long, long time. But they messed with the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan when they did that. They're moving postal employees away from the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan into its own Postal Service Health Benefit Plan. That is going to impact both sets of employees. Federal employees currently and still covered under Federal Employee Health Benefit Plans and postal employees that will soon be covered under the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan. That's a law that went into effect April 2022, and Postal Service Health and Benefit <laughs> Postal Service Health Benefit Plans will go into effect January 1st of 2025. That means that the open season of 2024 is a critical event in your timeline. That means 2023 is the time when you really need all the education you can get. So I just finished up a podcast on Postal Service Health Benefit Plans for postal employees. Federal employees need to hear it. Postal employees need to hear it. Today I'm starting a new series that will be for annuitants. Annuitants is just another way of saying retirees. If you're a postal retiree, you need to hear this. If you're a federal retiree, you better listen to it. Because they've already put the news out there that if this goes well, moving Postal Service employees into the Postal Service Health Benefit Plan, they intend to change the platform for the, postal, for the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plans to a cloud-based platform. That will in fact impact all federal retirees as well. They've also put it out there that there will be other changes they will make based on how this pilot program goes. Kind of important for you to stay informed whether you're a postal retiree or a federal retiree. So I'm going to start with a series of facts starting on our next podcast on postal service annuitants. That means postal service retirees, but I will sprinkle in some facts that will impact federal retirees as well. Now, once again, I know I'm reviewing, but why is this information important to you as a federal retiree, as a postal retiree? Because one of our biggest fears when we get ready to retire or when we're retired is what happens if a catastrophic event happens with my health. How does that impact my health insurance? And how does that impact me through Medicare? Those two things are very intertwined and it's impacted by this legislation that goes into effect January 1st of 2025. That's why these podcasts are very important to you. You know, I, I have friends all across the country that's covered by the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plans. You know, somebody that was just diagnosed with cancer the other day, they were telling me how grateful they are that they not only have the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan, but they had enough foresight that when they turn 65 and they have Medicare A coverage, which is hospitalization, that they also went ahead and enrolled in Medicare B, which is also medical doctors and medical services, because they're virtually through this cancer journey they're on, have no out-of-pockets that way. See, Medicare A, have copays and deductibles. Medicare B has copays and deductibles. Now they're already retired. So once they were retired and they hit 65, Medicare become primary for them. And their federal employee health benefit plan comes in as secondary. So the 
the deductibles and the co-pays that both Medicare A and B has, their federal plan under current conditions picks up those co-pays and deductibles for them. They were just telling me how grateful they are that they had the foresight that they went ahead and enrolled in Medicare Part B. That's contrary to many of the people that I know, and I know a lot of them that said, oh, I don't need Medicare Part B. Well, postal service reform is going to change that for postal retirees coming up very soon. You do know that, right? That's why we're going to go over these facts, starting with our next podcast, that you need to understand these seven facts that's been made, made available to us so far in 2023, leading up to open season this year, 2023. Now, what's the biggest impact for 2023? So far, they're warning us in advance that the call volume for open season is going to be very very, very heavy, and it's going to be difficult to get your questions answered during open season. So I hope that we can get a lot of your questions answered in advance so that maybe you won't have to make those phone calls, that you can do your homework for open season prior to open season hitting, and you won't have to make those phone calls. So stay Stay in touch, watch the podcasts, revisit those podcasts, even go back to the podcasts that we did for postal employees that are currently employed, and let's gather all this information leading up to open season 2023. They're available, of course, on the podcast. Subscribe to your podcast, share it with your friends. You can also find our podcast posted. The videos will be posted on Facebook, under Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators, LinkedIn, under the Elizabeth Inman page, and on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators. Check out the playlist. We have a lot of videos on YouTube under the playlist under various topics. We put out a lot of information here at Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators. There's no strings attached and we don't charge for information. So I'm Elizabeth Inman with Federal Employee Benefit Coordinators. How about give us a call, 918-396-5171. Let us know what topics you like to hear from the podcast. We'll do a podcast on a topic that you like. Happy to share information with you. I enjoy talking to you.